From its humble beginnings more than 10 years ago, Studio One has truly come a long way as a software and has become more and more powerful with every new version as we added more and more exciting features. But due to the complexity of many of these features added, Studio One has also become potentially a software that became more and more difficult to learn and the barrier of entry for new users became higher and higher. That is what we're trying to combat with an exciting new approach to music making and content creation in version 6 with Smart Templates. You will find the Smart Templates inside of Studio One Start page by clicking on New. And I'm going to show several of these Smart Templates throughout my presentation here. I'm going to feature the Produce Beats Template, but also the Create Content Template, which all set up Studio One in completely different ways, as you're going to see. But what I especially enjoy is that Smart Templates approach Studio One from a different premise, from a question, what do you want to do today? So if I'm saying I just want to record a couple of audio tracks or maybe I just want to play a single instrument, I just have a melody idea and I need to record it as fast as possible before it's gone. Then just select the play now template, choose the instrument that you want to play. So in my case, I'm going to go for the synthesizer, hit OK and start playing. <laughs> You have a synthesizer right here ready to play for you. So without any additional barriers, you can just start recording right away. It just takes one click onto this red button here and you're good to go, right? But more than that, smart templates also come with tutorials that highlight different areas of Studio One that are going to be relevant for the task at hand. And you can just follow along step by step. It also teaches you, in this case, for instance, how you can assign hardware controls to a plugin to start controlling it from a MIDI controller. And if you're more experienced in Studio One, you'll also notice, this is my favorite part actually, it has hidden a couple of user interface icons and menu buttons from view that are not relevant for what you're currently trying to do. This is made possible through the amazing new customization editor available to us in Studio One 6, not just in smart templates, but in any kind of Studio One songs. Let's say that I'm just doing audio post-production today, so I don't need to see anything related to MIDI, virtual instruments, and so forth. Well, then I'll just go to View, Customization, Edit Customization, and switch to Audio Editing. And notice that has just hidden quite a few buttons from View, and we can go even further than that. We could say, why would I need to see the instrument section here of Studio One's browser when I'm working just with audio? Why would I need to see MIDI monitor activity in the transport bar? Why would I need to see sync to external devices that can go as well? And what makes this so powerful is that you can create presets from that, that you can switch extremely quickly. So you could go from an audio editing workflow directly into a virtual instrument workflow, into a content creation workflow, and Studio One's interface would always shift and adapt to the current task at hand so that you only see buttons that are relevant to your current workflow. 